Residents of three mobile home parks here in the Valley are now forced to pack up and move after a vote by the Phoenix City Council last night. That's more than 300 residents involved here, and now many are facing potentially homelessness. Fox 10's Stephanie Bennett joins us live with the details. Some of these people really could end up on the street. Yeah, that is exactly right. We talked to a couple of residents who say that is very much an option for them right now after this decision came down. We're at the Periwinkle Mobile Home Community Park here behind me off 27th Avenue and Coulter tonight. Now, this back and forth has been going on for months after they say the owners did give them notice, but they were hoping they could have at least a little bit more time. GCU is trying to kick my family out our home, living in the street with no options. More than 100 people signed up to speak during Wednesday night's Phoenix City Council meeting. Most speakers were from the Weldon Court, Las Casitas, and Periwinkle Mobile Home Parks, all fighting to avoid being displaced. State Representative Annalise Ortiz also speaking out. To save these families the trauma and stress of having to find a place, another place to live. We are in a housing shortage right now. It is a crisis. Phoenix City Council Councilors were expected to vote on a series of four actions that residents had hoped would keep them from being displaced. But in the end, the only motion to pass included providing $2.5 million to support the relocation. They are offering us $5,000. They didn't come out and give us that. It was proposed, and I don't even know who came up with that number because there's nothing we could do with $5,000. The three parks have been targeted for neighborhood redevelopment projects. One of them, Periwinkle, is owned by Grand Canyon University. Primarily, residents like Alondra Ruiz own their trailers and are now facing a number of obstacles. The most upsetting part is the fact that we will be homeless. My neighbors will be homeless. Kids will be homeless. Veterans. Property owners have been warning residents for years that this day would soon come. GCU is also offering over half a million dollars in benefits to tenants, along with relocation assistance. For now, the residents are coming to terms with the decision. My body just shuts down the emotions, and I've been completely numb all night and all day today. The Periwinkle community here has until the end of May to move out. Reporting live tonight, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News.